home video with Spectrum. My name is Brooke and I'm an AmeriCorps leader here. Today we are going to make a model for fossils using sponges. If you want to follow along at home, here are the materials that you're going to need. Sand, sponges that you've cut up into fun little pieces like bones, and then water and salt. The first thing you'll need to do is dissolve a bunch of salt in this water. So we're going to dissolve it until it's completely saturated, which means you dissolve it in, until you can't dissolve anymore and you'll have a little bit of salt sediment at the bottom of your water container. So after you do that, you're going to take your sponges and dip them in the water completely. After that, we're going to take the sponges back out and bury them into the sand. Now we're going to take our salt water and pour it over the sand mixture. So we're going to pour it over until it completely covers all of the sand. And if you have a clear jar like mine, you'll see it um, completely saturate all the sand. So we're just going to pour it until there's a little bit left on the top. Awesome! So now we're going to let our fossils sit for about a week. Now in the real world, fossils take millions of years to actually fossilize. So this is just going to be a model. Um, but we're going to leave this for a week and then come back and dig up our fossils. For digging up our fossils, we can use just any tools around our house. So I'm going to use a paintbrush and a little screwdriver thing to dig them up. Um, and we'll use the paintbrush to wipe the sand off, just like real archaeologists do on fossil digs. So what happened over the week with our fossil models? Well, the salt water that we poured in got into the holes of the sponges. And as the water started to evaporate throughout the week, the salt stayed and it hardened the sponge. This is why it feels hard when you touch it. This is a good model for what happens in real fossils. Real fossils are made by an animal dying and leaving their bones. These bones eventually end up deep in the soil. Minerals that are in the groundwater gets into the gaps of the bone. And over time, that water evaporates and leaves the minerals around to harden and fossilize. This process is called permineralization. This is why fossils kind of look like and feel like rocks. Thanks for following along for another Science at Home video. We hope you learned something about fossils. We'll see you in our next video.